just gave uh, Buster a cuddle and he does like a cuddle but he won't stay still. There goes Tilly. This dog is absolutely buzzing to get out. Absolutely buzzing, viewers. I need to go to the shop to get some gas and that. And I went round there, but I forgot the uh, card for the gas. But Buster will refuse to let me go to the shop nap now until I've took him for a walk. Right, Buster's been out. He's had his shite shites. Just about to feed him. Uh, I think I've been suffering from depression the last few days and uh, it didn't help this morning when um, I got a Facebook memory referring to me five years ago being on a top secret mission. What I actually was referring to that day five years ago, which I had to keep quiet a bit, was I was driving 130 miles from Birkenhead down to here where I live now, Evesham to uh, meet Rachel for the first time five years ago. It was uh, a blind date in a ploughed field. She didn't think I fancied her and I wasn't sure whether I did, but we stuck at it and we got married and stuff. And we, we didn't live happily ever after, but you know, that's life. And uh, yeah, that's a bit why I've been feeling a bit depressed lately, all that caper. But um, I've got to challenge it. I've got to challenge it. Stayed in bed most of the day yesterday. Did absolutely fuck all yesterday. It's no good for your mental health. It's no good for your physical health. Uh, can't be asked going to Morrison's today. I think I will go round the corner and get the makings of my own um, breakfast and cook it myself. And just to cheer myself up, I might just walk around the shop with this in me on. What do you reckon, viewers? Walk around the uh, shop with some military grade dynamite just nonchalantly in my hand. For homeland security purposes, or whoever you are that might watch this, who's got a badge, this is a, a wooden replica. But mind you, uh, you could probably get in trouble anyway. So so I won't do that, viewers. I won't do that. And I won't take my toy gun for amusement either. Oh, I think I, next time I go, I'll just put my metal detecting wanker t-shirt on. I fucking had that on. I occasionally put that on, just thinking, oh, well, I'll only be out in the fields. No one will see me. It's just another detecting-based t-shirt. But then I forget that on my way home, I, I go to the shops and stuff. And uh, oh, I got some right funny looks in the garage the, last week when I was wearing my detecting wanker t-shirt. Because the detecting bit is in red and the wanker is in white. So most people from a distance, all they see is the... Stop it, bumblebee. All they see is the word wanker on my detecting wanker t-shirt. It jumps out at them. Anyway... Gonna go and get some cooking <coughs> ingredients. I'm wearing my Rutus Team Expert uh, hoodie, but I'm not a Rutus Expert no more. All right, bud. Got the Bulgos. The Bulgos having a barbecue outside. I might join them. I think they find this crazy Englishman quite amusing. Yeah, I'm not a team expert no more. I made uh, I made a joke about puffs and it upset all the other experts. So I decided to stand down as a team expert. But I still love Rutus and Wyola and Arik. And uh, anytime they want to pick me old noggin or want a bit of support, happy Deus, happy Rutus. Um, so I just went to shop. Bear in mind I was going to stay in bed all day because I was feeling depressed. But I spoke about it on my Facebook. And I think it's important to speak about these things. Because lots of people suffer from them. And uh, my mates on my Facebook chivied me on. So I got out of bed. Just been to the shop. And uh, 
old lady in the car pulled up as I'm coming out. Do you know where such and such road is? I said I, said I don't, but I'll get my sat nav out for you and I'll find it. And uh, took us a minute, we worked it out, it was only half a mile away. And uh, she was so happy, this old lady, so happy. She couldn't thank me enough. And she, as she drove away, she said, thank you, sir, you're a Christian. So that was nice. And the other day when I went to the shop in the evening, some guy came round the corner from the main road, holding his head and shouting back down the main road, leave me alone, I haven't done nothing. You could tell he'd had a little bit of a drink and he was injured. And so I walked past him, and as I walked past him, two really big, tall bruisers come flying round the corner, and they were going to make a beeline for him and catch up with him on the quiet streets in the evening, just by where I live, and they were going to give him a right hiding. So before they could go past me and catch up with him, I spun on my heels, and I just caught up with the injured bloke. And when they seen that, I knew what their game was and that I was going to catch up with the guy that they were going to batter. Wisely, they just turned around themselves and uh, pissed off fucking bullies. So, yeah, and, and funnily enough, the guy, I've never met him, the injured guy, I caught up to him and I said, you've had a lucky escape there, lad. Uh, they've gone now. I offered him a lift home because he actually turned down by my street just to get away from them. He didn't even live in that direction. He was that panicking and he, he had a big piece of wood in his hand he pulled out of a skip uh, yeah so you just never know what what good deeds you can encounter when you go to shop even so it's always best to get out of bed even if you are feeling down fuck me I just put me gas and electric on because I'd run out of gas uh, <coughs> I put 30 pound on my gas they take 20 pound for debt another pound for something else so put 30 pound on it just now and i get nine pound your lucky's all right it just goes straight on i don't know apparently we're in debt i got no idea these are debts that just carried over from when paul rach uh handed it all to me all you know is i have to put 30 pound on to get uh, nine pounds worth of gas. Not ideal, viewers. Not ideal at all. So here's the makings of today's uh, breakfast. Some nice mushrooms, thick pork sausages, some bacon, some beans, eggs, and bread, and pepper. I forgot to get brown sauce, so we'll have red. I've also run out of um, oil to cook it in, so I'm guessing I'll just use this. It's wax, it's one of them uh, wax things, you know, to wax your Roman coins and brooches. I reckon the bacon will taste fine cooked in that. What do you reckon, viewers? Actually, I've just found this. Uh, and it does say you can fry, bake or roast or spread organic extra virgin coconut oil. I'm going to try cooking with this today because apparently this is very good for you. And uh, it clears up the whites of your eyes if they're all bloodshot and that. I do know that. It's very, very good for you. Might taste like shit on a breakfast though, I don't know. Right, I've got my scrambled egg all mixed up. Uh, Forgot how you cook scrambled egg now, whether you do it in a frying pan or not, but that's where it's going in a minute once I cook the sausage and bacon. Uh, you can remind me in the, in the old nugget noggin comments, viewers, how you do scrambled egg, but I'm sure I'll be able to eat it. I'm going to chuck the big mushrooms in the microwave because that's just a little cheat. Uh, they're all right, you don't wash them or nothing, you just chuck them in the microwave for like one and a half minutes and you eat them like a navvy. Lovely mushrooms. I'm just melting this coconut wax oil. Uh, I hope it doesn't make my breakfast taste like really crap. Uh, I haven't seen the consistency of it. I'm going to try it on some Roman coins. I reckon it'll be great. Great for preserving Roman coins, that by the looks of it. I will try it, viewers, you know me. 
come up for anything. Come on, come on, wax melts. Melt so I can chuck this bacon in. Decided to chuck the sausages in first few is because my old nugget noggin seem to think they might take a bit longer than the bacon. I don't think this coconut shite oil is very good. I think it might explode. I've turned the heat down a bit though. Oh, you just never know how this will turn out, viewers. It could be lovely, it could be horrible. Sizzle, sizzle, bubble, bubble. Toast in on the double. Microwave for the mushrooms. Oh, I don't think this is scrambled egg. Well, it's like an omelette, but I'll just scramble it, viewers. It'll be all right. That's only a bit of bacon. I forgot how to do my scrambled eggs, viewers. We've got a scrambled brain. Toast done, job nearly done. Turn that heat back up. That'll soon have you poached. That looks good to me, viewers. Give it a bit of a uh, sauce. Wish it had brown, but red will have to do. Lashings of pepper. I never have any salt on my food, never ever put salt on my food. They put enough of that crap in it anyway, that's what killed me granddad. Love pepper though. Looks good to me viewers. Blooming dynamite. With a sprinkling of Roman grots and my cup of tea. My Pink Floyd tea. Right, it's a quarter to one in the afternoon viewers. I'm going to chivy myself along and go and take some flowers up to Rachel. And then I'll see if I can get out on one of Badge's fields. Uh, I'll probably only be metal detecting for Vicky Pennies or something. But you never know what turns up when uh, all you're getting is a few blank coppers. You might get a gold, a gold chain or anything, anything. So I will go and do that. Uh, I've had 1,400 views on my last video where I used the Deus 2 picture as a thumbnail. I thought that was a valid thumbnail because I was talking about my efforts to raise money to buy a Deus 2. Obviously, some of the Deus 2 fans have just seen that as clickbait. I'm talking about my Deus 2, fellas, not yours, uh, and it's valid. So I've got 19 thumbs down up to now. And only the one really nasty comment. Um, some no video content channel said, um, it's just so, so formulaic. It's always the same type of thing. Um, they said, you best spend your money on your teeth. Don't, don't be wasting it on a day or two. Well, you know what? They ain't your fucking teeth. It ain't your day as two. You're not even worth answering, mate. You need to concentrate on your black heart and try and get a heart transplant because yours is fucking shocking. Just about to go and take some flowers up to Rachel and get out digging on Badger's Meadow for a few hours for the rest of this video. I'm just showing you these two beautiful coins, both one ounce Troy silver, solid silver. You can see there on 99999 nine silver, one ounce. That one's a guinea. And uh, they're absolutely a beautiful. Uh, Jason Pollard and his wife Sue sent me these to raffle off so that I can raise some money towards my dais too. Look at the finish on that behind the Queen's portrait, all the uh, little dots, amazing. So I'm having trouble raffling them. And uh, they are a gift, but they were given to me to raise money for me, Deus 2. 
which I think is brilliant. A brilliant gesture by Jason Pollard and his wife Sue. Make sure you go over to Instagram and put in the search engine Team Pollard. That's Jason and Sue's Insta where they keep you updated on their metal detecting journey. And um, go and support them. And hopefully one day Sue will follow up with her idea of getting a YouTube <coughs> channel of her own. Stop, stop it, Buster. Uh, so I'm having trouble raffling them. If any of my viewers like what they see there, they're uncirculated in a capsule. Um, message, uh, send me an email at anglocelticmetaldetecting <coughs> at gmail.com if you would like to purchase these to uh, help raise funds for my Deus 2. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, Jason and Sue. Absolute beautiful coins. Right, just off out with the bumblebee, I've put his harness on and his winter coat. Uh, just before I was leaving, Alan Bumstead of uh, Optimus Spades, he engraves these lovely spades with any pictures you can want on them done beautifully. Um, Spartans, Vikings, your name, your doggy, anything beautifully engraved. It's just dropped into Messenger and he wants to support my fund for the Deus 2 as well. And uh, he's going he's gonna to engrave a wonderful spade of his. And uh, they come with a strap on as well to carry. <laughs> they don't come with a strap on. They come with a strap attached to them so that uh, you can carry them. And uh, they sell for like £130 plus. And uh, he's donating one of them to my Deus 2 fund. And uh, I'll show you some pictures of what, what they can be like. I think this might be like similar or the one that he's donating. But I'll show you some pictures of it now. God bless you, Alan. You really are one in a million and a very true friend. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Popped into Asda, got some carnations and a few other nice flowers, whatever they are. For Rach. Always try and keep some nice flowers on, on her spot for her. This is the odd part if I come up on my own. Holding all these flowers, holding Buster, and now I've got to go and get the water. Rach is up the top there in the centre. This is Pershaw Cemetery. If any of her friends ever see this, they'll know where to find her in a minute. This is why I buy carnations. Some of these are two weeks old and uh, they still last. Uh, some from last week. Well, I'll just refresh them all with this new lot now. Bless you, Rach. You can see the change in seasons. So it was it was five years ago today, pretty much, when I first met her. And I've had 17 months of having to bring flowers to this spot. Stop barking, Buster. Stop barking. Got work to do, Bunch. Right, well, the grass is cut. So, looking a lot better now. Cut the grass. God bless you, Buster. You've been a good boy. So this is where Rachel is for any of her friends who might remotely see this video. <coughs> Come straight up through the churchy building. Straight along the path. Right by this wooden bench is our dear Rachel. The hardest part about coming here is walking away without her. Breaks my heart. Five years ago today we met, darling. I bring you roses, but they wither and die too quickly. Unlike our love for each other, Bobby. 
Right, it's 2.25. It'll take me about 15 minutes to get over to uh, one of Badgie's permissions down the road. I'm going to end this uh, thought-provoking vlog on a bit of digging. Because that's what Rach would want. And, uh, yeah. I think this channel has morphed since I've done the dailies. It's not just all about metal detecting, is it, viewers? It's about life. Not just my life. Not just Buster's life, but your lives too. Because whatever issues I'm going through, you know for a fact that some of you are going through them too. So yeah, let's let's go and see if we can rustle up a silver ray. Eh? Right, I'm going to use my Equinox today on this pasture because it is good on pasture. This is the big pasture with the orchards next door where I've come a few times, and there hasn't been a lot up. And the only bit of this pasture I've done is a bit on the top there and there wasn't a great deal of targets uh, but Badger was here the other day and he said in the bottom corner he got quite a few coins and that he got a silver shilling and he got his first Victoria coin a Queen Victoria half and so congratulations on that Badger I know I did say I was going to your meadow mate which meant the mill but uh I've decided to come on this one. I'm sure you won't mind. Uh, cheers, mate. See if we can get anything. Right, so. Nice Chris 22. Right by the car. Let's see, viewers. Lovely afternoon. Okay, so it looks like we're going through the keyhole, viewers, because that's what it is with the Equinox. Not a bad little interesting find because it might be uh, either some interesting stuff dumped here or a little building torn down. Buster not showing a great deal of enthusiasm. He didn't want to move from the car. We've got a 14 here somewhere. I'll see if we can pick it up again one-handed. Okay, viewers, let's see what this is. Some horses going past. I don't know whether you can hear them. That 14 was a big fat zero, really, in the scope of metal detecting finds. But it's all good. Only just got started. Just found a nice umbrella. Eyes only stuck in the corner of the fence. And I'm going to try and get a nice thumbnail. Oh no, will we? Oh, that'll do. Stay there, man. Stay there. Oh, he didn't stay. He didn't stay. Oh, we might get a thumbnail out of a screenshot of that somewhere, viewers. Oh, it's hard work. I'm trying to get Bunty to uh, stay still. I'll leave it there for now. It looks like it's been, it was resting there. Looks like it's been here a long time. So. Should be all right there for a bit, but I do like it. You like it, Buster? Yeah. yeah but are you supposed to be metal detecting? Come on, hurry up, Dad. Get on the silver. Really, I'm loving it getting out, though. Uh, so I've had a crap couple of days, but at least I've challenged myself to get out this afternoon. I'm going out hopefully tomorrow on a new permission with Badger. Uh, so that'll keep me busy. And I'm gonna drop on the um gonna drop on the exclusive Riverside Garden sometime this week, me, me, Buster and Badger. I just found this. I'm trying to see if there's a name on it. But I don't think there is. There you go, viewers. It's that kind of hunt up to now, but you just never know. You never know when that wedding ring or anything could pop up or pocket watch well been going about 40 minutes is my first coin unhappy days he wants something older where's the bumble where is he oh he was just he was staring over there off into space he does a bit of that now in his old age oh that poppy really suits him love you bumble Alright Dad, don't be getting soppy now, you soppy bollocks. 
fee fi fo fum i smell the junk of another one ah oh, it's been that type of uh hunt up to now viewers this first maybe hour but i really only come out for my mental health this afternoon because i was suffering and it's really nice just to be out with my bestest friend in the whole world and if we pop something we pop it if we don't we are still healing ourselves so there I'm digging too much shite out in the fields. I'll never learn, but I am an optimist. Too much shite out in the fields, but I've got my best friend too. Fucking shite, and I don't care, cause the next signal could be something that'll make me swear <laughs> in a good way. He is such a lovely little dog, this fella. He's always sitting on me knee and falling asleep, no matter where we are or what we're doing. When I had uh, I had five minutes up at Rachel's grave just to sit and think on the bench next to it, he fell asleep. Fell asleep on my lap, bless him. At his mama's feet. You can get away with it when you're 112 years old, Buster. God bless you. Here's a sweetie. Right, on to the next bit of crap. Well, this sounds deep anyway. Still in the hole up between five and six inches there. Sounds deep and it coming in at 23, 25 on the knocks. So let's have a tickle. Turned out to be a ship half penny viewers. All the bumblebee was rocking and rolling then. You got something stuck in your bubba. Rah, he's a little lion. He's a lion. 1947 ship halfpenny with uh, one of them king fellas on the back. I actually call that a victory here today. That's all I've really come out for. I've not heard up to now of anything really old coming off this field. So if I can get a few pre deaths and maybe a cheeky sixpence or a shilling, that's all my expectations are for this field. Every field's got the opportunity to surprise you. You could have never had anything but pre deaths and uh, a Celtic silver unit or stator could pop up one day. All depends on how many hours you put into the field. But I'm on the trail of the pre decimal coins, so that's the beginning of a victory at least. Well, viewers, this was uh, a ring pull signal. Looks bronze to me. Looks like there would have been a hole there. Uh, possible a votive axe. Possible. Not definite, far from it. It could be off some... Uh, old farm machinery or something but what it actually needs is uh, an expert so i'll send that off on my facebook to somebody who might take a punt at whether it really is old see it's beveled that way so it really has got all the hallmarks of an axe but the only axes I know similar to that shape that come up votive are Vikingish. I don't think that's broke there, that edge. I think that's how it's been made. So like I was saying about silver staters coming up and stuff. Uh, it's silver staters, no such thing as a silver stator. Uh, silver units and gold staters. I don't know. It might have just broke off there. Jesus, this is what happens when you metal detect and you really want to find something good. Sometimes you find complete tat and build it up into a, a mega museum piece. Get in the comments, viewers. Pr prick my bubble if it's shite. 
any Viking Rotivax experts see it for what it is put a smile on my face I don't know could be absolute tat uh, Jesus the more I look at it the more I think it is tat the more I'm thinking what were you talking about Votivax for Stephen you sausage jockey but I don't know Sometimes go with your first instincts and ask the experts. I don't know, viewers. Come out on a pre-decimal field just to get yourself out of a bit of a rut. Chasing the Vicky Silvers. Can't find any. Got to make do with a Viking axe pendant. Possibly votive Viking axe pendant. That's a consensus up to now on the, the old book face, eh? Yeah, I'll take that if it is. I knew straight away that if it was a miniature axe head, shaped much more like the Viking ones. Sue's beautiful one from the other week out in Lincolnshire is a different shape altogether. I like it anyway. If it is old, it's a votive axe and the shape does suggest a Viking. I just posted some clear pictures on Facebook. There's been a few comments of uh, votive and one guy has up to now said Viking. So I will let you know the final consensus when I get home. Oh, and Badger, you know which big field I'm on, mate. The one where you got your coins and that in the corner, what you were telling me about the other day. So there's the shit pile there. That's the far corner. The bucket is where the vote of possible vote of axe has come up, mate. I've left the bucket there. So if you want to come sniffing around the bucket for more ancient stuff, there's the uh, thing there, the opening and closing thing. The door, as Kecko calls them. In English, we know them as a gate badger. Bucket marks the spot for you, oh bearded one. Come over into this far corner, badger. I don't know whether the camera's going to pick this up. But it's a belt buckle and you can see it says uh, the boys something. So when I clean it up a bit in the house... Pretty sure that'll be a boys' brigade, probably. Belts buckle, nice piece of social history. I thought it was just a big old junky washer thing when I seen it first that side. It's a boys' brigade, uh, probably boys' brigade. Belts buckle, mate. I'll clean it up and you can chuck it in your cabinet in your hallway if you want, mate. What do you mean? Uh, I didn't say that about the Viking votive axe. Oh, if you insist, Badger, you know me, I'm not, I'm not fine centric. I've come on your field, it wasn't even the field that I said I was going on. I found a Viking votive axe pendant. Uh, if you've got any issues, fucking put your big boys' knickers on and uh, just ask me for it, mate. Buster will give it, yeah, you don't fucking care. Right viewers, it's 10 to 5, the sun's set, doggies stationed by the car grumbling, I've got one last signal here by the car, number 19 on the Knox, I will let you know what it is viewers, then go home, edit the video and upload it for you for about 7 o'clock this evening. Well Buster's not impressed with this last find, just one of them viewers, one of them sure you've all had them anyway i've enjoyed this hunt and uh, the jury's out on the axe uh, definitely ancient definitely a vote of axe but most people are saying uh, like bronze age era so really happy that i shrugged off this black dog of depression and took my beautiful brown dog of loveliness out with me that's what it's all about so I've got a Bronze Age votive axe by the looks of it. Well, viewers, uh, I was just about to show you this and I couldn't see it. 
it's not normally the type of thing that wax because it's not ancient or nothing but put a little bit of that wax on and it's picked out something slightly different i thought it was just going to say the boys brigade actually says pretty sure that says the boys life brigade cool have a quick google of that now okay well the boys brigade itself was formed uh, in the mid 1850s and it merged with the boys life brigade in uh, 1899 and they just got got young men out doing uh, military drill and activities and shared christian values and basically tried to keep keep them off the drink and the sex and drugs and rock and roll probably and fill them full of bibles and uh weak orange aid probably but yeah you know they had some good christian values just didn't have any fun by the sounds of it but fair play to them there you go, an example off the internet. Cool, buckle. I'm half tempted to leave this votive axe as it is. You can definitely see under where my finger is there. You can see if we can get. I can't get this camera to zoom because it's got a bit of grease on the lens. You can definitely see right there where it was looped. I put clear pictures on Facebook. And they're saying uh, a votive axe, probably along the lines of uh, a Bronze Age or something. I think I will put a bit of wax on this and I'll show you it in a sec. There you go viewers, uh, that's literally only initially been put on the wax. I'll rub it in a bit more. But it will help to uh, stabilise it. I'm not sure whether that's a bit of bronze disease on it or just... Just how it is. But I'm happy with that. Ancient votive axe on a quiet field where you're lucky you're looking to shoot for a Vicky sixpence really. It's funny how I said that um you know silver unit could come up with a gold stator if if you just put enough no. hours in on these very average fields. No. And then next minute no. I get this ancient thing. No. Well happy with that. Jordan! <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? You nearly fucking... Oh. <laughs> he knocked the phone out of my hand! He knocked the phone out of my hand!